everyone, it's Daltrick, and in today's episode of A Trick A Day, we're going to take a look at changing time signatures in Session View. So let's get started. Over here, I have two clips in this particular drum track that I have lined up. Let's take a listen to them. So this first one is going to be maybe pretty familiar sounding to most of us. Let's see how it sounds. So kind of like a basic sort of dance music house beat. You've got your kick, you've got your clap, <laughs> you've got your closed hi-hat. And you can tell that this is a four on the floor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four beats in a bar. What about this second clip though, right below it? Let's switch over to this one. Ooh, so a little different. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So this particular clip, let's take a pause there. I've purposely programmed it so that it has three beats in one loop. So it's kind of this waltzy sort of feeling. And this is actually something that I do um, occasionally in my live performances just to switch things up a little bit rhythmically and create a little bit of variation. Uh, if you take a look at the time signature in live though, so this little section over here that says four slash four, that means that we have four beats in a bar. Um, so if, it, if we had three beats in a bar, I would say something like three dash slash four. So how do we actually do that? Because right now, if I plate this against the metronome, check this out, I'm gonna turn on the metronome in live. Let's play the original clip. So metronome is lined up with the clip itself. But if I launch the three clip, ooh, whoops, if I launch the three clip, <laughs> here we go. We're starting to get some interesting shifting between the metronome and the clip. And that's purposely what I want to do sometimes in my live electronic performances. But what if I did want to change the time signature? That's where renaming things in the master track comes in handy. So in a previous um, episode of this, I showed you some other things that you can use the master track for. But one of them is going to be time signature changes. So let's rename this. I'm going to press Control R if I'm on a PC or Command R in this case, since I'm on a Mac. And in the first scene, let's rename that four slash four. And let's rename the second scene three slash four. And whenever you do something that's going to affect the tempo or the time signature or a couple of other things <laughs> in live to live's global transport, the usual launch buttons, so the, the sideways triangles button, the sideways triangle buttons in live, those will turn blue. Like a, they'll kind of light up a little bit instead of just being the usual duller shade of purple or gray or whatever um, color you have as live. But check this out. Let's see what happens when I launch these scenes now. So here's 4-4, four, four, which is the usual. Now let's listen out for the metronome when I launch the next scene. Here we go. So now we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's at some point switch back to the scene above and see what happens. And now. Yeah, so that's a really great way to be able to switch time signatures in session view and live. And that's today's trick. <laughs> if you enjoyed this trick, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And if you'd like more uh, by subscribing, you can also turn on the notification bell to be notified of whenever I have a new video out. And until the next video, I hope you all stay well and stay safe. And thanks for watching. Bell trick.